Hello, I am wanting to show you the ways that I display my jewellery when I'm working on. This is my collection of mine, not the stuff that's out in the cases for sale, but the stuff that I have collected over the years. Some of it has great sentimental value for me, um, some not, some just sort of gets rotated in and out. However, I love to be able to see these things. I don't want them all just put away in a drawer. And I love to lay in my bed and looking at all these pieces. It makes me feel good. So I just love it. I love, love, love all these pieces. Some of them are really old and, as I say, sentimental. Look, there's my namesake. There's Sally. And down here, this wooden piece was made and worn in a runway show in New York during Fashion Week, gosh, probably eight to ten years ago now. And it's also in a book um, on a male model. And I love looking at it because it just evokes all the uh, those memories of the excitement of being in New York. And it was the day that I watched that walk down the aisle the runway and I was like oh my god I'm in New York and this is actually happening so as I move across I want to show you I have this fabulous feather collar by seven hands designs on the wall I have my um, rubber neck pieces the collars which I love I have artwork from friends on the wall and old textiles and I have Look at these old tassels. I love having things on display. And I love different textures of wood and the textiles. And so I'm going to move back now so that I can turn around. I won't spin too fast, I promise. So here I'm going to move in on another way to display. This is a huge chest of drawers and I can lay in my bed and I can look at this and it just makes me smile. So up here I have um, an old Indian brass statue adorned with antique Chinese enamel jewellery, mixing cultures again, which I love to do. The drawers here are full of rings and these are rings that I have of my own, all different colors, sorted out, and um, same as I do with everything, it's all done by color. This little collection, this vignette here, is bone and tusk. This bird that's standing up high is actually carved out of an old hippo tooth that I've had since my childhood in the 50s in Kenya. And the croc is also from my childhood. And the bird, the eagle, is actually something that I would carve contemporary. Um, and I just love this little collection together. Here is the beginning of this incredible wooden boat. It's actually from Java, and it was a game. And uh, I don't understand the game. It was sort of, I think it's reminiscent of one of the African games like that. But here I have long tassel earrings and bangles. This is a great thing to display things on. And I'm sure you can find all sorts of things to display yours on. This one is great for showing my rings. And I've got silver bangles down here and a Bakelite thing and more rings and textiles. And up here I have some... Uh, more silver bangles and naga necklaces which I don't wear but I just love them I love the feel of them the drape of the beads and here's the glitz yes I do glitz I love it now these bangles I got from Serana in Oakland and I'm sure she still has some they are fabulous and they make me smile to look at them and here are my stack of silver bangles Again, I love them. I love looking at them. Some of these are so big and so heavy that I really don't wear them very often. Coming around, one of the few blank spaces of wall in my house. This is a totem pole. I put a Buddha head on the top and he is adorned with all these old ethnic pieces. None of them were collector quality, some of them were damaged, but I loved them. And so this is where they live and they brightened the totem pole. See, you can hang and display jewelry on anything. Here is an old Indian textile 
with hanging on it some old shells from Africa and a necklace that I made out of some old ivory necklaces that I would never sell um, but I wanted to sort of preserve them and honor them in some way and so that's what I did with them and then up here is a massive Tibetan piece they wear them for adornment. I don't know how. Um, it, but for me, it was just too massive to make a necklace out of it. So it's on my wall so that I can enjoy it. So I want you to think about how you can display your things in new and different ways.